Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Friday, January 28th, 2022. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's college basketball, NBA, and NHL games and look ahead to tonight in the weekend's games. Then I'll preview and pick the AFC and NFC championship games, tennis, golf, news and notes, and best bet. We're going to try to be quick because we have a lot to do. We're going to start with college basketball, and we will recap the games from... Florida Gulf Coast over Eastern Kentucky, 77-73. App State over Arkansas State, 61-54. Middle Tennessee over Marshall, 81-79. Wagner over St. Francis, PA, 69-54. St. Fair Brooklyn over Sackett Hart, 71-66. Mount St. Mary's over Fairleigh Dickinson, 67-56. Central Connecticut over Long Island, 65-62. Bryan over Merrimack, 76-67. Gardner Webb over UNC Asheville, 61-55. Liberty over North Alabama, 72-53. Jacksonville over Lipscomb, 66-59. Detroit Mercy over UIC. 8067. Robert Morris over Milwaukee, 7753. Youngstown State over Green Bay, 6350. Coastal Carolina over Little Rock, 6549. Drexel over James Madison, 8882. Hofstra over James Madison, or Charleston, my bad, 7673. UNT Wilmington over Northeastern, 6762. Alon over William and Mary, 6154. Murray State over Titus C. Tech, 8075. Delaware Towson was suspended. Delaware was up 3829. Due to unsafe court conditions. Louisiana Tech over Rice, 8063. Bellarmine over Stetson, 7247. Jacksonville State over Kennesaw State, 7064. Georgia Southern over Yale Monroe, 5045. Number eight, or 16. Ohio State over Minnesota, 7564. Ball State over Northern Illinois, 7467. Loyal Chicago over Southern Illinois, 4439. UTSA over Florida International, 7366. North Texas over Southern Miss, 6354. Weber State over Northern Colorado, 8576. New Orleans over Houston Baptist, 77-66. Utah Valley over Chicago State, 101-87. North Florida over Central Arkansas, 93-74. Texas Arlington over Texas State, 70-58. South Alabama over Detroit, 82-63. Georgia State over Louisiana, 68-64. Oral Roberts over Omaha, 188. North Dakota over South Dakota. Or North Dakota State over South Dakota, 74-62 in overtime. South Dakota State over North Dakota, 96-61. Tennessee State over SIU Edwardsville, 75-70. Belmont over Austin P, 7567. Northwestern State over Incarnate Word, 7970. Nichols over McNeese, 8171. Number 6 Purdue over Iowa, 8373. Number 7 UCLA over Cal, 8157. Memphis over East Carolina, 7154. Kelsey Florida over UC Davis, 7458. Moorhead State over Southeast Missouri State, 7473 in overtime. Eastern Illinois over UT Martin, 5853. UAB over Western Kentucky, 6865. UTEP over Florida Atlantic, 7068. Montana over Idaho. 8162, Montana State over Eastern Washington, 6865. AM Corpus Christi over Southeast Louisiana, 8671. UMKC over Denver, 7261. UC Irvine over Cal State Bakersfield, 5752. Cal Poly over UC San Diego, 5955. Long Beach State over UC Riverside, 6862. Southern Utah over Portland State, 8582 in overtime. Sacramento State over Idaho State, 6160. Portland over Pacific, 6456. St. Mary's over San Francisco, 7270. San Diego over Pepperdine, 6456. Number two, Gonzaga over Loyola Marrow, 8955. Stanford upsets number 15, USC, 6461. Washington over Colorado, 6058. Santa Clara over BYU, 7776. So, best bet was a loser. And Hawaii over Cal State Northridge, 7265. Now, we look ahead to today's games. I'm sorry I didn't do totals today for either NBA or college, just did sides. Um, so, I apologize for that. 2 o'clock, Colgate BU. My projection is BU by 7. And it is uh, Colgate by 1, total 137.5. I'm taking BU plus the 1 and minus 104 straight up. 5 o'clock, Lehigh, Holy Cross. Um, My projection is Lehigh by 3 eighths. And it's 4.5 and 139.5. And I'm taking Holy Cross in the four and a half. Penn Harvard on ESPNU. My projection is Harvard by 11. It's three and a half and 142. I'm laying the three and a half with Harvard. Five o'clock, Stony Brook, New Hampshire. My projection is Stony Brook by one. And it's New Hampshire, two and a half, total one, three, seven, and a half. I'm taking Stony Brook plus the two and a half and plus one, three to win outright. Six o'clock, Wyoming Air Force. My projection is Wyoming by eight and a half. And 7F and 129F, I'll take the over. 
Purdue Fort Wayne in Northern Kentucky at seven o'clock. My projection is Northern Kentucky by ten and eighth. And it's two and a half and one three six and a half. I am laying the two and a half for Northern Kentucky. Rhode Island Dayton on ESPN two. My projection is Dayton six and it's six and one twenty four. We will go with the over. Canisius Mammoth. My projection is Mammoth by 25 and 7 eighths. And it is. Twelve and one forty three. I'm gonna lay the twelve with Mammoth. Fairfield Rider. My projection is Rider by three and seven eighths. And it is fair for one half to one three four and a half. I'm gonna take the points at Ryder and for them to win outright. Manhattan St. Peter's, my projection is St. Peter's by twelve and a half. And the sixth half and one three four, I'm gonna lay the points. Niagara Siena, my projection is Siena by nine. And it's Niagara one half total. 127 and a half. I'm taking Sienna plus one half and plus 102 to win outright. Ohio Buffalo. My projection is Ohio by one and three eighths. This game's on ESPNU. And it is Buffalo three and a half total, 149 and a half. I am taking Ohio plus three and a half and plus 138 to win outright. Akron Toledo on CBS Sports Network. My projection is Toledo by eight. And it's eight and 140 and a half over. Maris and Knipiak at seven thirty. My projection is Maris by one and seven eighth. And it's Knipiak one and a half total one thirty seven half. And taking Maris plus one half and minus one oh two straight up. Nine o'clock is pin you Cleveland State right state. My projection is Cleveland State by two and seven eighths. And it is One and a half and one forty nine and a half in favor of Wright State. So I'm taking Cleveland State plus one and a half and then for them to win outright. UNLV and Colorado State on Fox Sports One. My projection is Colorado State by a whopping nineteen and seven eighths. And it's twelve and a half and one forty one half. I'm laying the points. San Jose State in New Mexico. My projection is New Mexico three and a half. And it's ten and one forty seven. I'm gonna take San Jose State plus the ten. Boise State, Fresno State, 11 o'clock on Fox Sports 1. My projection is Boise as a 1 and 3 quarter favorite, and it's 1 and 1, 18 and a half. I'll take the over in that game. All right, now we'll look ahead to the weekend's games. 12 o'clock on ESPN, number 9, Duke at Louisville. ESPN 2, number 19, LSU, TCU, and the SEC Big 12 Challenge. USA, LaSalle, number 25, Davidson. ESPN U, Wichita State, Tulane, Fox Sports 1, Georgetown Butler, Miami, Georgia Tech, 12-3 CBS, Michigan at number 10, Michigan State, 1 o'clock Lafayette Army, IPUI, Detroit Mercy, Arkansas State, Coastal Carolina, East Tennessee State, VMI, Chattanooga, Citadel, 2 o'clock ESPN, SEC Big 12, Oklahoma at number 1, Auburn, Fox Sports 1, number 21, Xavier Creighton, ESPN U, SEC Big 12, Missouri at number 23, Iowa State, American Navy, FAU, TSA, Merrimack, Sacred Heart, Central Connecticut, Fairleigh Dickinson, CBS Sports Network, LIU, Bryant, High Point, Campbell, NC State, North Carolina, and ACC Network, Dartmouth, Columbia, ESPN 3, I thought it said 2 for a second, UMass Lyle, Hartford, UMBC, Bimington, Maine, Vermont, Milwaukee, Youngstown State, Illinois State, Northern Iowa, St. Louis, Duquesne, USA Network, St. Joe's, and St. Bonaventure, Sanford, West Carolina, Drexel, Towson, ESPN2, West Virginia, and Arkansas, the SEC Big 12 Challenge. 230 CBS, Arizona State, and number three, Arizona. On Fox, Indiana, Maryland, 3 o'clock, Temple, SMU. Tennessee, Martin, Belmont, Rice, Southern Miss. Middle Tennessee, Western Kentucky, Dixie State, Chicago State. Winthrop, Longwood. On ABC, Virginia Tech, Florida State. UIC, Oakland, Georgia State, UL Monroe. St. Thomas, Minnesota, Western Illinois. 
North Dakota State, South Dakota State, Miami of Ohio, Eastern Michigan. 3.30, Western Michigan Ball State, 4 o'clock, ESPN, number 4, Baylor at Alabama. SEC Big 12 Challenge. Norfolk State, FC State, Howard, NC Central. Long Beach State, UC Davis. Southern Alcorn State, Maryland Eastern, Coppin State, Dollar State, Morgan State, North Texas, Louisiana Tech, Portland State, Northern Arizona, ESPNU, Kansas State, Ole Miss, Annum Corpus Christi, Northwestern State, State, Houston, Seattle, Abilene Christian, Lamar, Wagner, St. Francis, Brooklyn, UNC, Asheville, Presbyterian, SC Upstate, NCAT, ACC Network, Pittsburgh, BC, Yale, Princeton, Cornell, Brown, Eastern Kentucky, Stetson, Little Rock, App State, CBS Sports, Iron VC, Richmond, Rural Roberts, Stanford, Northeastern, Charleston, Alon, William & Mary, Delaware, JMU, Central Michigan, Northern Illinois, ESPN2, SEC Big 12, Oklahoma State from Florida, 430 on Fox, St. John's at number 14, Villanova, Big 10 Network, number 24, Illinois at Northwestern, Tennessee State, Eastern Illinois, um, Radford, Gardner, Webb, 5 o'clock, Pac-12 Network, Utah, Washington, Arkansas, Pine Bluff, Miss Valley State, and Carnivore in Southeast Louisiana, SAO, Edwards, Velocity, Missouri State, Moorhead State, Murray State, Florida M, Alabama A&M, St. Fran, PA, Mount St. Mary's, Lipscott, North Florida, Texas Arlington, Texas State, North Dakota, South Dakota, Kent State, Bowling Green, Hampton, Charleston, Southern at 530, North Alabama and Kennesaw State, 6 o'clock ESPN, number 12, Kentucky, number 5, Kansas, great game, SEC Big 12 challenge. ESPN 2, Mississippi State, number 13, Texas Tech, ESPN U, Texas Southern Prairie View, Grambling, Jackson State, Idaho, Montana State, ACC Network, Virginia, Notre Dame, Central Arkansas, Jacksonville, Furman, Mercer on CBS Sports Network, Georgia, Vandy on SEC Network, 630 Fox Sports 1, number 20, UConn at DePaul, Big 10 Network, Rutgers, Nebraska, 7 o'clock, Pac-12 Network, Cal, and number 15, USC, UAB, Marshall, Charlotte, Old Dominion, San Diego, Loyal, Marymount, Santa Clara, San Francisco, Albany, NJIT, Jacksonville State, Liberty, Belmont, Florida, Gulf Coast, Green Bay, Robert Morris, South Alabama, Trey, UNC, Greensboro, Wofford, Hofstra, UNC, Wilmington, 8 o'clock, ESPN2, number 7, Houston, UCF, on ESPN, number 18, Tennessee, at Texas, that's a great game, too, Bethune, Cookman, Alabama State, South Florida, Tulsa, Cal State, Florida, UC Riverside, Idaho State, Northern Colorado, Nichols, Houston Baptist, Tarleton, UT Rio Grande, Pepperdine, St. Mary's on CBS Sports Network, AC Network, Wake, Syracuse, Georgia Southern, Louisiana, Evansville, Missouri State, UMKC, Omaha, Austin P, Tennessee Tech at 8.30, South Carolina, Texas A&M on the SEC Network, 9 o'clock, Portland, and number 2, Gonzaga, Cal Poly and UC Irvine, FIU, UTEP, Eastern Washington, Montana, Grand Canyon, New Mexico State, 9.30, Pac-12 Network, Stanford at number 7, UCLA, ESPNU, BYU Pacific, 10 o'clock, ESPN2, Oregon State, Oregon, Cal State, Bakersfield, UC San Diego, Weber State, Sacramento State, Stephen F. Austin, Cal Baptist, CBS Sports Network, Utah State, Nevada, and at midnight, you have UC Santa Barbara in Hawaii. Now we look ahead to Sunday, 12 o'clock on CBS, number 16, Ohio State, and number 6, Purdue, ESPNU, Cincinnati, East Carolina, Purdue, Fort Wayne, Wright State, Cleveland State, Northern Kentucky, USA, Fordham, George Washington, 1230 Fox Sports 1, number 22, Marquette at number 17, Providence, 1 o'clock, Big Ten, Eric, Minnesota at number 11, Wisconsin, St. Peter's, Iona, 2 o'clock on ESPN2, Loyal, Chicago, Drake, Indiana State, Bradley, USA, George Mason, UMass, Kennebec, Siena, Marist, Manhattan, Niagara, Monmouth, Canisius, Ryder, 4 o'clock, Presbyterian, Campbell, 5 o'clock, Valpo, Southern Illinois, 6 o'clock, CBS Sports Network, Loyal, Marymount, or Maryland in Bucknell, ESPNU, New Orleans, McNeese, and 10 o'clock on Fox Sports 1, we have Colorado and Washington State. All right, now we'll do NBA, and we'll recap the games from last night and look ahead to tonight and the weekend. 76ers over the Lakers, 105-87. Warriors over the T-Wolves, 124-115. And now tonight, 7 o'clock, you have the Pistons and the Magic. Projection is Magic by a half. And it is 3-2, and 13. I'm taking the Pistons, getting the 3. And I'd like them to win, too. 7.30 Celtics Hawks. My projection's Atlanta 2.5, and, and it's 1.5 and 2.18.5. And I'll take the... Oof. Oh, that's a tough one. I'll go over. 
ESPN Lakers Hornets. My projection is Charlotte by five and three quarters and seven and two twenty eight and a half. No LeBron under. Eight o'clock Nuggets Pelicans. My projection is Denver seven and a half and it's five and a half and two fifteen and a half. I'm going to five and a half at Denver. Clippers Heat. My projection is Heat by thirteen and a half and it's eight and two ten and a half. I'm going to eight with the Heat. Trailblazers Rockets. My projection is the Blazers by five eighths, and it's two and two thirty two. No Dame, so the under. Jazz Grizzlies. My projection is Memphis two, and it's Memphis three total two twenty six. I'll go over. Pacers Thunder. My projection is the Thunder by two and a half, and it's one and two seventeen half. I'll go because of some uncertainty. I'll go with the under. 8.30, Bulls, Spurs. My projection is Chicago by 3 and 5 eighths. And it's 1 and a half and 2, 28 and a half. I'm going to lay the 1 half with the Bulls. Timberwolves, Suns at 9 o'clock. My projection is Phoenix by 13 and 5 eighths. And it's 8 and a half and 2.30. I'm going to lay the points. And the Knicks, Bucks, 10 o'clock on ESPN. My projection is the Bucks by... 12 and 5 eighths. Then it's 9 and 2, 17 and a half. I'm going to lay it in 9 with the Bucks. I don't see how they uh, don't win this game by double digits. So I'm going to lay the 9 with the Bucks against the Knicks. All right, now we'll look ahead to the weekend. Um, Saturday, 7 o'clock, Celtics, Pelicans, Pacers, Mavs, Kings, 76ers, 7 30. 8 o'clock, Raptors, Heat, Wizards, Grizzlies. And on Saturday, prime time, the first to 2022. Nets Warriors, great game. But it would have been better if Durant was there, but Durant's not playing. So that's a little unfortunate. It's still going to be a good game because it's like Harden against Steph. And then Sunday, 1 o'clock, Lakers, Hawks, Clippers, Hornets, 3.30, Trailblazers, Bulls, 6 o'clock, Cavs, Pistons, 7 o'clock, Mavericks, Magic, Nuggets, Bucks, 8 o'clock, Jazz, Timberwolves, and Spurs, Suns. All right, now we'll do the NHL. We will recap the games from last night and look ahead to tonight and the weekend. Blue Jackets over the Rangers, 5-3. to three. Ducks over the Canadians, 5-4. to four. Hurricanes over the Suns, 3-2. In a shootout, Lightning over the Devils, 3-2. to two. Panthers over the Gold Knights, 4-1. to one. Kings over the Islanders, 3-2. Two, to two. Kraken over the Penguins, 2-1 to one in overtime. Blues over the Flames 5 to 1, Canucks over the Jets 5 to 1, the Oilers over the Predators 3 to 2 in a shootout. And then on Friday, which is tonight, 7 o'clock, you have the Red Wings and the Penguins from Pittsburgh. Pens minus 255, the trade plus 205 over under 6 and a half, minus 10 each way. The trade minus 1 half is minus 110, Pens minus 1 half is minus 110. Penguins puck line, this is a bounce back spot after losing at home to the Kraken. Um, 8 o'clock, Wild Rangers, Henrik Lundqvist retirement ceremony night. The Wild are minus 120. The Rangers are even money over under 6. Overs minus 112. Unders minus 108. Wild minus 1.5 is plus 198. Rangers plus 1.5 is minus 250. Rangers are a home dog. This is a bounce back spot for them. I don't know why they're an underdog here. I think everyone just... Wrote them off after that Columbus game, honestly. That was a trap game. This is a bounce-back game. So, um, Rangers, even money. 8.30, Avalanche, Blackhawks. Um, Avs minus 215, Blackhawks plus 176, over under 6 and a half. Overs minus 102, unders minus 120. Avs minus 1 half is plus 114, Blackhawks plus 1 half is minus 140. Um... I like the Avs puck line. I think they're going to stream roll here. 9 o'clock, Capital Stars. The Caps and Stars are each minus 110. Over under 5.5. Over is minus 120. Under is minus 102. Caps plus 1.5 is minus 310. Dallas minus 1.5 is plus 235. This is a pick em game. I like Dallas at home. And then the Bruins and the Coyotes. The Bruins are minus 360. The Coyotes are plus 280. Over under 6. Over is minus 114. Under is minus 106. Bruins minus 1F is minus 132. Coyotes plus 1F is plus 108. I'm going to go with the under in that game. 
All right, now we look ahead to the weekend in hockey. So Saturday, busy day as usual. 12.30, Duck Centers, 1 o'clock, Kings Flyers, 2 o'clock, Kraken Islanders, 3 o'clock, Jets Blues, 6 o'clock, Sharks Panthers, 7 o'clock, Oilers Canadians, Maple Leafs Red Wings, Golden Knights Lightning on the NHL Network, Devils Hurricanes, 9 o'clock, Sabres, Coyotes, and 10 o'clock, the Canucks and the Flames. Sunday, 1 o'clock, NHL Network, Kraken Rangers, Kings Penguins, 5 o'clock, Sharks Hurricanes, 7 o'clock, Blue Jackets Canadians, Bruins Stars, Wild Islanders at 7.30, and 8 o'clock, the Sabres and the Avalanche. All right, now to the moment you guys have been waiting for. The picks for the NFC and the AFC championship games. Um, this is going to be fun. Um, as it always is. Um, it's 3 o'clock on CBS. You have the Bengals and the Chiefs. Jim Nance, Tony Romo on the call. The final time for them this season. My projections with no injuries of significance and whatnot. Chiefs by six, total 50.05. And it is seven and a half and 54 and a half. Um, I'm going to go under as my pick for this game for the podcast. Um, I personally think that it could be a lower scoring game than we think. The moment might be too big for the Bengals. Who I have a slight edge on, but I really don't think that um, this game is going to be as great as the four games we saw last weekend. Um, and they can cover conceivably backdoor and win this game like... Thirty to twenty three, or thirty to twenty four, which I think is a realistic final score. One or the other, so I'm going to go under for this pick, and I think the Chiefs will win. And then six thirty on Fox, Joe Buck, Troy Aikman, Aaron Andrews, Tom Rinaldi for the final time this season. The Forty ers and the Rams. My prediction is Rams six, total forty seven one. Meanwhile, three and a half and forty five and a half. I love the Rams. Um. A rock star team. I know the 49ers have owned them. And I know that um, it's a rivalry and all and same division. But Jimmy Garoppolo is still really not healthy. He played a gritty game against the Packers and they took advantage of a lot of Green Bay mistakes. I no, I'm not calling for a blowout, but I just think that the Rams win by like six points. I could see this game being like twenty six twenty or something like that as a final score. So I think it'll be Rams Chiefs in the Super Bowl which will prevent a rematch from two years ago between the Chiefs and the 49ers. And there's so many like compelling storylines. And if it is Chiefs-Rams, somebody brought up the, this to me the other day, um, it's a little bit of a rivalry in a way because don't forget the Rams used to be in Missouri. They used to be the St. Louis Rams. Now they're the Los Angeles Rams. So there's a little animosity from some Chiefs fans. So just throwing that out there as like a potential storyline to follow that I just never thought about for a conference championship weekend and the potential Super Bowl matchup. So I'm going to say the Chiefs win 30-24, to and I'm going to say the Rams win 26-20 as my final score predictions for these games as well. All right, tennis time. Um... We will recap the Australian Open matches from last night, and we'll look ahead to the finals. Um, we'll start in the men's. Um, so the semifinals, six-seeded Rafael Nadal over seven-seeded Matera Berrettini in four sets, and then two-seeded Daniil Medvedev over four-seeded Stefano Sipios in Four sets. 
And on the women's side, finals um, for the semifinals, 27 seeded Daniel Collins over 7 seeded Iga Swiatek in two sets, and 1 seeded Ashley Barty over Madison Keys in two sets. So the first of the two finals is tomorrow at 3.30 a.m. 1 seeded Ashley Barty, 27 seeded Danielle Collins. Um, so, um, Barty is a pretty significant favorite here. Um, minus 650, Danielle Collins is plus 450. Danielle Collins is fabulous. She is going to be a star in the sport for a long time. Next big tournament, she's going to be potentially be a top 15, top 10 women's player. But Ashley Barty, this is her time to shine. I think she's going to sweep her 2-0, minus 180. And on the other side, Sunday at 3.30 a.m., 16, Rafael Naval, the doll, and 2 seed, Daniil Mavedev. Um, Mavedev is minus 186. The doll is plus 154. And I honestly think that Rafael the doll is going to win. I think... Um, I think that this is his opportunity to show he's still one of the top tennis players in America, so, or in the world, I should say. And I'm going to go Nadal 3-2 at 5-1 as my pick here for the men's side. So I think it's going to be Ashley Barty in the women's and the, the, and the Rafael Nadal in the men's. All right, now move on to golf. Um, We will go over the um current leaderboard. For the Farmers Insurance Open. So in first place in the three-way tie with 13 under John Rahm, who was my pick, Justin Thomas, and Adam Shank. Fourth place with 12 under is Cam Triangle. Fifth place with 11 under is Peter Malnati. Tied for sixth with nine under, Luke Gliss, Saibu Kim, Jason Day, Satith Thagla, Aaron Ray, and Alex Smalley. Tied for 12th with 8 under, Sun J.M., Ryan Palmer, Bill Haas, Taylor Montgomery, and Brett Horschel. Tied for 17th with 7 under, Walker Zal Tormis, Joaquin Neiman, Michael Thompson, Doc Redmond, Scotty Scheffler, and David Johnson. Tied for 23rd with 6 under, Sam Piercy, Nate Taylor, Mark Leachman, Patrick Reed, Mito Pereira, Maverick McGilly, Justin Rose, um, Francesco Molinari, um, Christian Ziedenhout, Austin Smotherman, Chad Ramey, and Taylor Pendrith. Tied for 35th with 5 under. We're just going to go through notables at this point. J.J. Swan, Matthew Neesmith, um, Sub Straka, C.T. Pond, Hideki Matsuyama, Daniel Berger, Camilio Vegas, Taylor Gooch, Doug Gim, Alex Loren, Rory Sabatini, Sebastian Munoz. Tied for 50th with four under. Pat Perez, Gary Woodland, Patrick Rogers, Jonathan Vegas, Cam Champ, Xander Shoffley, Keegan Bradley. Tied for 62nd with three under. Kevin Stroman, Wyndham Clark, Scott Stallings, Matt Wolf, Carlos Ortiz, Mario Giglick, Lucas Griffin, and then those cut among notables. Mackenzie Hughes, Marcus Hubbard, Bryson DeChambeau, Ricky Fowler, Joaquin Herman, James Hahn, Patton Kazir, Bryce Garnett, Sam Bird, Taylor Hogue, Corey Connors. Henrik Norlander, Brooks Kepka, Tony Finau, Hudson Swaffer, JT Pawson, Joel Dahman, Phil Mickelson, Adam Hadwin, Dylan Fratelli, Richie Wierenski, and that's it among those cut. All right, now we'll go to news and notes. 
for today as we head into what's going to be a fun weekend. Um, so, um, there was a incident in Philly, um, Philly fans were harassing Carmelo Anthony as a fan got ejected for heckling him on Thursday, referred to him as boy and crossed certain lines. That's really not ideal. And then we have the all-star starters revealed. Um, in the East, we have Trey Young, Kevin Durant, Giannis, Joel Embiid, and DeMar DeRozan. And Durant was named the captain, but he's not going to play. So we'll see who replaces Kevin Durant. And in the West, all-stars, um, Steph Curry, John Morant, Andrew Wiggins, LeBron James, and Nicole Jokic. Andrew Wiggins has no business being a starter. He is having a good year, but... He's not he's not starter worthy, let alone potentially all star worthy. Come on, Andrew Wiggins. Um, I just think that's Golden State State fans being like ridiculous. But good for him. In all honesty, but he should not be a starter, and you could even make a case, let alone all star. Um. Something very interesting. Um, Draymond Green signs with TNT on a new, like a unique multiplayer deal to become the Inside NBA and Bleach Report contributor as an active player. So that is really cool. LeBron didn't play last night against Philly, and he's not going to play tonight against Charlotte. Nasir Little out indefinitely, likely for the rest of the year with a left shoulder labral tear. Aja Wilson returning to the Las Vegas Aces on a it doesn't say a, n- a number a number deal. Um, Evander Kane signs with the Oilers for the remainder of the twenty one twenty two season. The Arizona Coyotes might play at the Arizona State Rink as the team is advanced in discussions to use that school's rink as a temporary home for three to four years. Nathan McKinnon broke his nose after taking a hit from Taylor Hall on Wednesday. I mentioned Henrik Lundqvist's retirement ceremony being tonight. Um, A little air hockey game between him and former Giants quarterback Eli Manning before Henrik's jersey is raised to the MSG Raptors tonight. Um, Speaking of MSG, the Knicks are opening to dealing veterans like Kemba um, Walker, Evan Fournier, Alec Burks to make room for young stars. Um, this is crazy to think about. And then there's rumors about Julius Randle being available too. And this is probably because the front office realized what they did in the summer was a mistake. And they probably overreacted the last year. And they're still in the hunt for a playoff spot. But this front office is very, very smart. And it's not delusional like Nick's front offices of the past. So I'm very interested to see what they're going to do at the deadline. Um, obviously, the biggest news of yesterday is that Ben Roethlisberger announces his retirement after 18 seasons in the league. This was inevitable as a matter of when, not if he was going to announce this. There's a video on social media that he posted taking his things out of his locker and it was pretty neat, and he did a very great job producing that video, and his family was in it, so I suggest you guys check it out. Another coaching hire. Um, Bears are hiring Matt Aberfluss as their new head coach. Um, He's the close defensive coordinator. Um, So the Bears go with a defense guy. Um, I thought that Vic Fangio was going to get an interview with them, in all honesty, but he didn't. Um. I think that he's done a great job with that Colts defense, and um, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I know Frank Reich's a good coach, but we'll see about the man the Bears chose, Eberfluss. No vax required for minor league baseball as MLB will not make vaccines mandatory for minor league players, but coaches must be vaxxed for in-person contact. 
Jaguars interview Vic Fangio, the ex-Broncos coach, and worked with GM Trent Balk in San Francisco for four seasons. So um, maybe if, we'll see if Vic Fangio gets another opportunity. You could argue for Fangio that um, the quarterback situation wasn't great in Denver, and that's what ultimately cost him his job. And Dan Quinn is staying with the Cowboys as he informed teams that he plans to remain with Dallas as the defensive coordinator. Um, I think that's the right call. I think the Cowboys should be happy that he's back um, because what if Mike McCarthy gets fired midseason and then Dan Quinn's probably the intern coach? And non-sports-related news, um, something I forgot to mention yesterday, um, Yolanda Vega, the New York lottery lady that would come on the TV and do the lottery, has announced her retirement. And she was fabulous. And she was just very entertaining. So congratulations to Yolanda Vega before we move on to best bet, which is what we're going to do right now. Um, Is the Miami Heat minus the eight against the Clippers? I just don't see how the Heat are gonna um not win by double digits tonight. They killed the Knicks. I think they're gonna kill the Clippers. So I'm going to lay points with the Heat. Seven and a half. It's down to two units on it. Against the um, Clippers without Paul George as my best bet of the day. All right, so there you have it for today's show. I'll be back on Monday recapping everything from the weekend and looking ahead to everything going on on Monday. Hope you guys have a fabulous weekend, everyone.